Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World. And um, let's talk, guys. So let's talk about what's been going on today. At the moment of me making this video, it is um, it is 6:09 p.m. Eastern Time, and Fortnite has been down pretty much all day. And I've actually been streaming for almost five and a half hours right now. We've had tons of people here. Uh, so hi to everyone. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Thank you very much for hanging out with me, guys. And today what we've pretty much been doing is we've just been hanging out kind of like answering questions and trying to figure out what exactly happened. And the absolute best way to kind of explain what's going on is if we look at Reddit. So uh, we're going to start here. We're going to start with this one. This post was made six hours ago. And it was edited three hours ago. And it was made by Dan, 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 Dan. <laughs> I love that. So <laughs> Dan, 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 Dan said, uh, we disabled Save the World as Storm Shield storage was being wiped but by playing the Frost Knight event, okay? So that was the initial problem that happened. What happened was that people who went into the Frost Knight event their storm shield storage storm shield storage not your backpack not the regular storage not where you have your experience or your reaper all that or your gold or your daily coins but where you your storm shield storage that was being wiped out now i kind of think the reason why this happened was because when Apparently from I didn't get a chance to play it, but apparently when you go into this new frost night event You're not using any of your regular material So every all of that kind of gets pushed to the side and so that you can't really get materials because it's pretty much an endurance run kind of thing Since the biggest reward you have to survive for 45 minutes. Goodness gracious. So Because of the type of event that it is it's very possible that there was something in the code to kind of put to the side everything you currently have. The problem is when you finish the event, something must have been missing, something must not have been right in the code or something, and people's Storm Shield storages were wiped clean. So what happened is that they disabled Save the World. Now this happened like eight hours ago when they initially disabled it. Uh, then they said, we are currently confirming that there is no other source of data loss and are going to disable the Frost Knight event and re-enable Save the World after we are confident. This means that when Save the World comes back up, it's very, very, very possible that we are not going to see the Frost Knight event. It is not going to be around. Now, as you guys remember, what happened yesterday is I did a video in the evening saying that they were delaying Save the World version 7.10. And then actually only about four or five hours after I released that video, there was an update on Twitter of them saying, never mind, we're going to push it through anyway. I kind of hope and kind of wish that they would have just, they obviously identified something was wrong. So what they did oh i forgot we have do have notifications on let me take those off before this gets really crazy because we've had a lot of people signing up i am actually streaming right now so hello to everyone streaming or who is watching the stream so um what happened then is once they they might have they must have identified something that was wrong something that was happening within the game within the game files and obviously what happened then was instead of them they thought they had fixed it or maybe or patched it or whatever obviously the error was still there and that's what led to what happened so this morning when they identified what was wrong they took down the game so what happened next to figure that out, we need to go over to another Reddit post. This one was made by Magist. Uh, so I think this, yeah, I think this one was, yeah, by Magist. And he said, update, 11, 10 a.m. We're still running tests to verify all of the issues are resolved. I'll provide another update as soon as it comes through. Then at 12.40, we're hard at work getting the Storm Shield storage and Frost Knight issues resolved. We'll provide updates as they become available. At 3.40, I apologize about the delayed update. We're getting closer to resolving the Storm Shield storage and Frost Knight issues. We'll update you on progress of the fix as soon as it's complete. Thank you for your patience. And then two hours ago, well, one and a half hours ago, 
update. At 4.40 p.m., the team is working to get players impacted by the storage wipe restored. We will be releasing messaging as this further develops. We're working diligently to get Save the World back online to ensure no more data loss has occurred. Thank you for your patience. Now, right there, that last one up there is the very last communication we've had. And it, like I said, it's been about an hour and a half. It's been about an hour and a half since we had that communication. So hopefully we do get some more information very soon. Now I'm making this video right now because I know there's a lot of people right now getting home from work, school, kind of trying to get online and all they see is you can't get online and you may get this message, something about purchases or your, that it doesn't work. Don't worry, it's just what it is. Now, more than likely there will be a patch pushed out as well as soon as this gets updated. So we're gonna know then so my biggest recommendation that i can tell you is check twitter if you're not logged in uh, or if you're not signed up on twitter or following uh save the world or fortnite definitely follow them there because i am sure the second that the servers go live they are going to tweet they are going to tweet and they are going to say hey it's live you can go back into save the world so that would be my biggest recommendation my highest recommendation is if you want to know when the servers are back alive definitely go there but that's not all but wait there's more so a lot of people are asking and this is the, the next thing people are saying well what's going to happen or a lot of people have been coming to the stream and asking hey did, did i lose my stuff how do i know if i lost my stuff so this is how you know if you lost your stuff so the first thing you need to do is you need to ask yourself, well, did I play Save the World today? Okay, if you played Save the World after the update, oh, we just had an update. We just had an update. We just had an update. Oh my goodness, live update. Live update as we make a video. So this just happened. This just, everyone just, tell. okay. Update, 6, 10 p.m. We're performing final checks and she'll be back online shortly. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so this just happened. It's happening, yes, it's happening. So this just happened, guys. This just happened. There's no tweet about it yet. There's no tweet about it yet. So this just came out, uh, what, six minutes ago? It's happening. It should be back online. So let me finish up saying what I was gonna say before. Um, you may be asking yourself, well, am I affected? Well, you gotta ask yourself a question. Did you play this morning after the update and before the game went down? If you did not play this morning, don't worry. Nothing happened to your account. You didn't get a chance to play the Frostnet event, so nothing happened to you. The second thing is, did you play after the update, but you did not do the Frostnet event? If that was your case, if you just logged in, did some missions, said to yourself, you know what, I'll do the Frostnet event later, which is what I would do, then don't worry, you're not affected, nothing happened. Nothing happened to your account. The last one is this one. Did you log in this morning after the update? Okay. Did you log in after the update and you played Frost Knight? Then yes, you will be affected by the Storm Shield storage wipe. But wait, but wait, there's more. Okay. What happened? What did they think? That, what did they plan to do with this? Well, here he says, Dan da -da Dan Dan says, next up, figuring out what to do for players impacted by the data loss. Only players that participated in Frost Knight, Frost Knight events were impacted. We recently added support for curable backups, which we plan to utilize for people impacted. The backup is from 12.30 a.m. Eastern today. So let's say midnight, okay? So yesterday at midnight or this morning at 12.30 a.m. Before the update even happened, they have a save point. Okay, that's how you have to think about it. There is a save point. Then, only Storm Shield storage will be restored to the 12.30 a.m. Eastern backup and only for people that were impacted by the issue. So, if you play Frost Knights, if your Storm Shield uh, inventory got wiped out, don't worry. What they're going to do is they are going to reset your game, your Storm Shield, just your Storm Shield. Whatever you had in your backpack after, you're still gonna have it. But your Storm Shield storage is going to go back to what it was at 12.30 a.m. this morning. Now, if you put something else since then, well, I think you're gonna have to bring that up with them. Or if let's say you log in and you're missing something from your backpack, you're missing some schematics, you're missing experience, you're missing gold, tickets, reperk, anything else like that, 
that has nothing to do with this particular bug or hitch. But if you do have that problem, make sure you open a new ticket, make sure you go on the Trello board, make sure that you communicate email Epic telling them, hey, this is what happened. If you want to make your yours and their life easier, if you have screenshots of before what you had right before, you can send those along. It will help things out greatly. So that is what happened today. That is what happened on today. December 18th, 2018, the great crash of the great crash of December 18th or whatever you want to call it. But as you guys can see, the latest update, they are performing the final checks. I'm going to keep an eye on Twitter. The second that Twitter goes live, I'm going to go live. You guys may see that. You know what? This video might even come out after it's already live. But if you're wondering what happened, what was all the commotion, what was going on? Well, here you go. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Thank you very much to everyone who's on stream right now. Don't worry, everyone who's on stream, I'm just finishing a video right now. I'm going to stay live, and we're going to wait and see when it comes back. But thanks a lot, guys. If you enjoy what I do on my channel, if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please do me a huge, huge, giant favor and have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.